on, on, on something else. But I, this is something that we can advise the Ministry of Education to improve their curriculum and introduce issues of moral education and civics. Yes, on our side, you are much welcome here at University of Philinka. We learn so many things as you have been given this kind of copy of yes. a newspaper that yes. is making a department of journalism. Yes. We learn in practical ways learn most of the times. Yeah. So is this too applicable at Uganda? Yes, uh, the, the practical part of it, it is something which uh, is good. In Uganda we also try as much as possible to vocationalize. Yes. Call it professionalization of university education. But I have learned that you have an entrepreneurship, an innovation yes, education center, that's very good. I have visited this uh, studio. Yes. Um, this is good because students of journalism yes. are hands on now. By the time you complete, then you are ready for the market. Mm -hmm. So I would like to thank the university for this practical way of doing things. Because I think you are the graduates of this university will be much sold out after because they are practically oriented. So, what's your advice for this university, maybe University of Edinga, on increasing more facilities to the students so that they can learn more and more? Uh, I think the, the university have just been with the DBCAA, and one of the things which we we are discussing is to see whether we can have a memorandum of understanding with universities in South Africa and especially Uganda. Yes. Because there are things where you are highly competent in, in Tanzania, with very many students, but there are also others probably that you will be, you will be you are lacking. Therefore, getting a professor from Kenya or a practical uh, journalist yes. from Uganda to yes. come and uh, uh, work here for some time students can benefit from. from yes, that we, yes. Currently we see we have there is good relationship between uh, our countries, African countries. Uh, let's talk about East Africa. Yeah. We have a very, very good relation in sports mm. and games. What about in education? Can we have some new exchange? Some students from here move to Uganda to learn and some students from Uganda came here and learn. Is that possible? It is very much possible. Yes. And when we are talking about a memorandum of understanding, we are not just talking about professors, lecturers, teaching assistants, but we are also talking about students. We, it's possible for us to have a leadership or journalism a course that can be taught, and we have, just like we call it summer schools, uh -huh. like we in Gordon, yes. where students from East Africa can congregate here. We can have about 30 students. Uh, 10 from Uganda, 10 from Tanzania, 10 from Rwanda, 10 from... And then yeah, we have one kind of session and we go back to the home universities. But it's also possible that a student who is doing journalism in Uganda to come here and do one or two or three courses and take back credits back home. Someone from here can also go to Uganda and do courses and... So one of the things we should do is to see how we can harmonize uh, the credits, the, the courses that we teach, uh -huh. we can do joint programs, joint yes. academic programs, and we find that course units are the same in an academic program, and it is possible. Yes, I think it's enough for today. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Mr. This is University of Reading, and here we are at Thank you for, the thank you for hosting us. Maybe it's something else that I would want to add is yes. Tanzania is very good at Swahili. Yeah. And uh, Uganda and other East African countries, but especially Uganda, has been learning behind in terms of Swahili. Yes. Our curriculum is changing. Uh, in high school, from four, from one up to form four, now Swahili is compulsory. Yes. The, the Ministry of Education is also trying to ensure that at primary school level, it is also taught. So once that is done, then the communication will be much easier. Yes, I think we have to increase more effort on the application of the use of Swahili language. Exactly. So and, 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 and if that thing is done in Uganda, it means that your students, who, those who graduate, will even have more jobs because we need more than them to come and teach Swahili. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. for this. Thank, thank you for hosting me. I'm Tazamadi Oyo TV, and I'm Professor Sipa Chukeku.
cha institute kuu cha Kampala eh Kampala University from Uganda uh, hapa ndio mwisho mmoja wetu mfupi ambapo ameelezea jinsi gani anavyoona Tanzania ikiendesha eh, elimu yake mfumo elimu Tanzania walikuwa lakini pia ameelezea jinsi gani Uganda anapoendesha masomo yao lakini pia ameshukuru kuchukua ilinga kwa hamu ma, mapokezi mazuri sana ambayo ameweza kuyapata kutani wakati mwingine jina langu ni Samson Richard asante na kwa heri Oh